everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is one of the most awaited videos in the channel and that is the counter picks. So in this video I will be giving you guys uh, 4 titans, uh, heroes and the counter for those uh, titans. So you will have a better chance at drafting. Ever since I made the tips on drafting video a lot of you guys have been asking me that uh, you don't know the counters for different titans and you wanted me to make a, make a video on it. So here it is. So if you found this video helpful, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is going to be the part 1 of this series. So in the part 1, I will be going over 4 titans. So the 4 are, uh, first is Omen. So he is the strongest warrior. So I will be going over the counters that you can pick against Omen. And the second one that we will be going over is Nakroth. So Nakroth is hands down the strongest assassin in the game right now and uh, i'll be giving you some tips on how to counter him and what titans to pick on pick to counter him okay and the third one is going to be uh hayate so hayate is again the best marksman in the game and if the opponents have hayate what titan you should pick to counter him uh, i'll also talk about that and how to play against hayate i'll give you some tips on that as well and the last one is going to be support and Grak. So Grak is a very terrifying pick right now for a lot of teams including our own and I'll be talking to you guys how to counter Grak. Okay. Uh, I was going to do one for Liliana, uh, how to counter Liliana as well but I figured that uh, you don't really need to counter an enemy mage because like I said in the tips on drafting video there are no, there are no counter picks for mages. Uh, the mages don't even damage the enemy mage most of the time they are just going to clear the wave and rotate and their utility is going to be in team fights so i'm not going to be going over the counters for mages so it's going to be warriors assassins a warrior uh, an assassin one marksman and okay let us start so omen so first i'm going to be going over the strengths of omen so omen is best known uh, for his ultimate that locks up the enemies for five seconds right yeah, for, locks up the target for 5 seconds in a, in a small circle. Uh, so this is why Omen is really strong because the primary strength of Omen is whenever you gank uh, a lane in which Omen is your teammate, he can simply lock the enemy and your team can all jump on him and kill him. For the next 5 seconds he cannot use Purify, he cannot use Flicker, nothing can save an enemy from the... Uh, clutches of omen except uh, some titans some heroes in arena of valor like uh, zip can suck omen uh, suck the target out and take him away but zip is not yet available in clash of titans so there is no one who can save omen save the enemy locked by omen right now so that is the biggest strength of omen and also omen can win 1v1 against most of the warriors uh, like it's really scary to lane against omen because if he ties you you are going to be stuck there for next 5 seconds and you might end up dying. So with all that in mind, uh, there is no assassin who can counter Omen like Zuka or uh, Ryoma or heroes like that uh, in the DS lane, they cannot counter Omen. So the best counter for Omen is going to be Alain. So Alain is hands down the best uh, warrior against Omen in the DS lane because Omen doesn't stand a chance against Alain in 1v1. Both are auto attack heroes, they depend on their auto attacks for their damage and Alain has so much lifesteal that even with curse of death, Omen will not be able to beat Alain in 1v1 and it's even scary to lane against Alain with Omen because Alain has two uh, stun abilities with his second ability, he has two stacks, he can just root you in place and finish you off with his auto attacks. So Alain is going to be hands down the best counter for Omen. So the next good counter for Omen according to me is going to be Emily. So Emily is again not as good as Alain against Omen. If Omen has even a slight uh, slight gold advantage, he has a really chance, a high chance of killing an Emily in 1v1. But if they have same gold, Omen will not be able to kill Emily or dominate her in lane. She has a very good advantage when it comes to laning against Omen because she doesn't need to recall. She can just fight Omen for 3 or 4 seconds and then come back under the tower and get her HP back full or even use her ultimate and soak up a lot of damage. <coughs> so for these reasons, Emily is also good against Omen. 
and also aline and emily uh, aline and emily are uh, good for another reason as well and that is even if two enemies jump on an aline who is uh, being altered by an omen aline can still alt and then stand a chance of killing the both of them so if it's an akroth and omen attacking an aline if they don't play properly aline can kill both of them and the same goes with emily even though emily cannot kill them she can still use her alt and soak up a lot of damage and run away so for these reasons i have uh, put uh, emily and aline as the counter for omen as of now and none of the other warriors stand a chance against him okay so the next one we are going over is the assassins and nakroth and guys nakroth is the best assassin in the game right now he has very limited uh, uh, number of counters mainly due to the fact that he will have so much gold advantage in any nakroth video that i play uh, that i have uploaded if you watch i'll have like 2000 to 4000 gold lead over the enemies and in one case i even had 6000 more gold lead so with this much gold lead nakroth will be able to kill anyone in 1v1 so 6000 gold is equal to 3 items so he has 3 items advantage over the enemies and nakroth can easily farm so he can jump to different lanes he can keep avoiding fights until he is sure that he has enough to fight anyone and kill in 1v1 early game yeah sure he is not very strong he will lose but once he goes past 7 minutes or 8 minutes he will be almost fully built while all the other enemies will only have two or three items so that puts him on a different level of advantage and he will be able to overpower the enemies easily so for this reason nakroth is pretty much unstoppable but there are some options uh, the first and best counter for nakroth is arum so arum is a nightmare for nakroth because she can just ult him and uh, her team can attack and kill him so nakroth is usually used for solo carrying right so we are going to be looking at titans and heroes who can lock nakroth in place and who can shut down the solo carry so if nakroth has 12k gold lead a uh, 12k gold the rest of his teammates will be having like 6000 or 7000 only so if your team manages to kill nakroth alone the rest of the four enemies are going to be useless so you have to pick heroes that can lock nakroth in place and you will be able to kill him so the first one is going to be arum it's going to be very easy with arum because she can just whenever nakroth tries to jump in she has to save her ultimate to lock on nakroth and just lock and everyone attack and if nakroth is dead the rest of the team is useless and again you know another person who can do that a mage the annoying mage alister so alister is also a nightmare for solo carry assassins because if he is around his team and if they are just defending nakroth cannot go in on his own and even with that much gold if he is going to go in and if he gets shut down by alister the rest of the team again is going to be useless so these are the best counters for nakroth that you can pick because there is no other way to counter him so there are other uh, different ways in which you can counter nakroth uh, other than picking counter titans or heroes and that is you have to stop nakroth from farming uh, if you see the map he'll be in the bottom lane clearing a minion and the next minute he'll be on the top lane clearing a minion he'll just go around clearing all the waves until he has a gold advantage and then he'll come and kill you you have to stop him from doing that you have to ambush him predict where he's going to go and you can kill him and uh, in that case you can also use alister and arum to camp him because if you alt him your team can jump and kill him and you know another guy who can lock people and that is omen so with omen you can like camp the enemy blue buff or the red buff and when nakroth comes to get it you can alt him and the whole team will jump on him and kill him so you should try your best to prevent nakroth from farming up if an, if there is a nakroth in the enemy team and if he is not joining any fights don't think that it's a good thing for you okay their assassin is not even coming for any fight we are always winning the fight you will think like that but after 5 minutes he'll come back with a gold lead of 10000 and just one shot every one of you and carry the match on his own so focus on nakroth when he is on the enemy team don't let him okay. farm so the next one that we are going to see is marksman <laughs> and that is hayate like i said so hayate is really good against warriors and tanks he can kite a lot of warriors he, he can kite any tank he can kill them um, but what we are going to be focusing on is stopping him from farming up in the early game itself so if you allow him to farm freely he will be able to uh, like 
ஸ்னோபால் யுவர் டீம் ஆன் டு ஹிஸ் டீம் ஹி வில் ஸ்னோபால் ஆன் யூ அண்ட் வின் த மேட்ச் ஸோ இந்த லேன் இட் செல்ஃப் யூ கேன் கவுண்டர் ஹயாத்தே யூ கேன் புல்லி ஹயாத்தே வித் அ ஃபியூ டைட்டன்ஸ் ஹீரோஸ் அண்ட் தேட் இஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி கேஃபனி ஸோ வித் கேஃபனி யூ கேன் யூஸ் த மினிகன் ஃபார்ம் அண்ட் யூ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்டார்ட் அட்டாக்கிங் ஹயாத்தே அண்ட் யூ கேன் கீப் மூவிங் அரவுண்ட் வைல் அட்டாக்கிங் ஸோ தேட் கிவ்ஸ் யூ அ குட் அட்வான்டேஜ் ஓவர் ஹயாத்தே பிகாஸ் இட் வில் பி வெரி ஹார்ட் ஃபார் ஹிம் டு எய்ம் ஹிஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அபிலிட்டி அண்ட் ஹிட் யூ If Hayate manages to hit all of his first ability shurikens, you will surely die, even if you are Kaphani. But in the case that you manage to dodge his first ability, you can just keep shooting at him and he will be forced to retreat. So Hayate cannot lane alone against a Kaphani because Kaphani, if he is a good player, he will definitely poke Hayate out with her laser and her minigun and uh, that will be a tragic early game for Hayate. And the next Titan hero. uh who is very good at uh, countering hayate is going to be valhain uh, the classic noob titan as they say but he is actually the counter to the best marksman in the game only in the early game in the late game valhain is not very powerful in the early game valhain can kill any titan in 1v1 so any marksman in 1v1 especially so hayate doesn't stand a chance uh, valhain just can just stun him and use his first ability for that massive magic damage and then a few other blades and force him to retreat and he can just camp in the brush and when hayate tries to come out and clear he can attack again so these are the ways in which you can destroy the early game of hayate you can pick valhain and uh, who's that kaphani but if you pick valhain uh, you have to make sure that you have a really good damage dealer because valhain doesn't de- deal as much damage as other marksman in the late game so you have to be dependent on your mage to carry you in the late game so keep that in mind as well guys so the next one is going to be support and we are going to be ca- talking about how to counter grack so grack is usually picked in team composition where they are going to be depending on their ranged heroes for damage uh, so it's basically a poking composition so there will be grack there will be like uh, crixi and violet and their ds laner will be rioma and their jungler will be like lindis or some other marksman jungle or something like that uh, amurad maybe so this this type of composition i swear grack shines because grack cannot dive in but he can pull enemies onto him and his team can finish them so he is going to be played in poking compositions for the most cases so in that case the best counter that you can pick for grack is going to be a diving composition such as crest so crest can just use his ultimate and push grack out of the way and he can dive in when you go when you dive against a poking composition they are messed up uh, because they don't have any warriors or bruisers who can stand and fight all their heroes are like high damage burst heroes so if you just jump on them with your whole team with crest as your leader you will be able to overthrow their team uh, so going all dive against grack is how to counter him so countering a support is not that easy you have to counter him with your full team so your team should have warriors and mages that are really good at escaping so for example liliana even if she gets hooked by grack she can still run away <coughs> and also if you are if you have a warrior like lubu or something if he gets hooked by grack he can immediately start attacking him so you will you should have titans and heroes that that don't die instantly if they get hooked by grack and your team should also dive in all at the same time and that is how you will be able to counter a grack composition with crest and also you can use uh, lumber to counter a uh, grack he also can from a distance use his ultimate and stun grack's ultimate and he is also very good at uh, diving composition so that gives you a huge advantage if you are going to face uh, grack so these are the counters for these three titans and yeah okay guys so this is just a part 1 of the series that i'm going to do uh, on the counter picks for different titans uh, so in every video i'll be going over four titans and the possible counters for those titans i'll be going over all of that so i would really appreciate it uh, if you guys like support these type of videos because it takes some more time than making my other videos where i just record a gameplay and then add my voice and upload it so 
please leave a like uh, in this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new i'm going to uh, have a target of 150 likes in this video and once this video hits 150 likes i will upload the part 2 of this video and the part 2 is going to be decided by you guys the four titans that i'm going to pick on the part 2 uh, that i'm going to be going over in the part 2 of this series uh, i'm leaving it to you guys to select uh, just comment down below four titans that should be one warrior one marksman one assassin and one support so leave comment with four titans in this order and i'll choose the comment with the highest likes uh, for the next video and make sure to leave a like in this video as well so that's gonna be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to show your support by subscribing uh, i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video